BoxingVoice.com, Nesta Gibbs here in association with FightHype.com with Keith one time Thurman. Keith. What up? Your former opponent, Manny Pacquiao, steps back in the ring after two years. He's going to be facing Earl Spence for what I'm being told, all the belts. Uh, during my time in Las Vegas for the Devin Haney Linares fight, I bumped into Gilberto Mendoza, asked what's going on. Will he be reinstating champion in recess, Manny Pacquiao, or keeping elevated champion, Ugas? Because the WBC, who is not the WBA, has a rule that if the champion in recess didn't fight and the elevated champion or the interim champion who was elevated to full champion didn't, didn't fight and fight. defend, the recess champion could be reinstated, which makes <laughs> this belt and this fight hot for three. Hot potato, who has the hot potato? If you have the hot potato, you are. Exactly. Like, like, come on, champ. I don't know. So. <laughs> It looks this like it's going to be call, three belts. This is what we call politics in boxing. All right. There are some things you got to get out the, you got to read the fine print on, you know. And uh, this is one of those scenarios. Now, uh, should they have theoretically ever stripped Pacquiao of that through a t uh, pandemic? Highly arguable. The answer is no. You know, so uh, should they be playing the game that they're playing right now? The answer, again, is really no. But ultimately... Do we want to see the biggest fights that we can see? That answer is yes. So, Spence versus Pacquiao for all three belts. See, this was the mission that your boy was on. I fell short, man, you know, and uh, I, did, I did some of the mathematics behind the fight. I said I fell about 15 punches short, man. Get your pu punch count up, young bloods. Get your punch count up, man. Don't fall short, you know, especially when you got it in you. Don't fall short, baby. Get that punch count up. Uh, it was a very close fight, but now I don't have a title, and Pacquiao's walking around with it, and Spence wants it, you know? And they said he don't want Thurman, so he's gonna be able to avoid me and, and become the undisputed as long as he gets past Pacquiao. Otherwise, Pacquiao will be probably one of the oldest ever to unify three world titles and be called the undisputed welterweight champion. No matter what, it's history in the making if we bring all three of these belts together. It's something that I've been waiting to see my whole career. I knew it would happen within my career uh, amongst the fighters that we have today in this generation. Um, I, do, I do respect Pacquiao, but I still do favor Spence. Um, just cause for a few size, same reasons why I favor myself, size, uh, youth, and then ultimately, when was the last time we saw Pacquiao against a world-class southpaw? Styles makes fights, especially against Manny Pacquiao. We've seen it throughout his career many different times. Um, but his number one attribute is that speed and that power and coming in at awkward, awkward little angles with that burst of energy. You know, I do believe that that's something that Errol has not seen in his career. Um, punches the way that Pacquiao punches. But I was able to walk Pac down, keep my guard up. Uh, Spence is really good in this guard. You know, Spence from this side, he's really good in this guard. He's got that long, long jab. And um, I think he'll be able to do what he needs to do in the fight. But I'm not saying Pacquiao's out of it. If anybody's gonna make another upset, even though I heard theoretically he's already favored in Vegas. So, you know. Is it an upset? Is it not an upset? Uh, it is what it is, man. He's a legend for a reason. I hope he comes with all the gusto that he did in the performance against me uh, because that's what I tipped his hat off to. He fought a good fight, he fought a smart fight, and he ended up edging me out. Will he be able to do the same with Spence? I do not know. So uh, Fred from Barbershop Conversations had an interview. Well, he was on his show and Earl called in spontaneously and during that time he was on, he said that he was about 75 to 80% versus Danny Garcia. A, do you believe that? And do you, so would a 80, uh, excuse me, would a 100% uh, Earl, is, is he capable of the knockout over Manny Pacquiao? Earl knows how to sit down on his punches. You know, we've seen, we've seen him get real wide. We've seen him get real wide with that front foot and load up into this left hook. That left hook can come like this. That left hook can turn into an uppercut. And then when he's got people on the ropes here, he likes to get that right foot on the outside. And he's got a real nice right hook up top, a real nice 
right hook to the body, and then the follow-up is the left hook. So it's either right hook up top, left hook, uh, left hook cut to the body, boom, to the head, or body, body. You know, he's notorious for, uh, for getting in those positions. I think one of the hardest things when facing Errol Spence is to not fight his fight. Anybody who's ever did good against Errol Spence had them, like even when Kell Brook was doing good, Spence wasn't able to fight his fight. When Sean was doing good, Spence wasn't able to fight his fight. So how much can Pacquiao make Errol uncomfortable and not let him fight his fight? Which is walk you down, stay behind the jab, and then go bop, 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 bop. It's almost rhythmic. It's almost like a rhythm. You know, we know what Errol's going to do. He's going to walk you down and go bop, bop. Or you're going to bring the dog out of him, and he's going to, you know, dog you out and trade like the way he had to against Sean Porter. So he's got a lot of dog in him. He is a real fighter. Um, but stylistically, I just want to see who dominates first. We know Errol's a little bit of a slow starter. Um, so does, uh, does Errol take dominance from the beginning? Does Pacquiao take over? Does Errol start to come back like he's, he's done in the past against other people? I thought he, he started slow against Brooke, and I thought he started slow against um, Porter. So will he start slow against Manny, or is he going to make a, a statement and go after those belts you know, from round one? The million-dollar question, if Pacquiao can beat Broner, Thurman, Earl to become a three belt unified champion at, at this age. Is that enough to surpass the legacy of Mayweather who's retired now? Many people debate and say that because Floyd holds the win over Pacquiao and Canelo, no matter what they do, they could never supersede him. What is yeah. your belief? Yeah, it's very hard. You know, when you want to do those kind of comparisons, it's very hard. Um, you could declare Pacquiao is the most accomplished fighter in the history. That's what you'd be able to declare. Um, see, Floyd declares TBE for never losing to anybody throughout his career. So there's a difference, you know. Uh, it's not about, even though he has a tremendous amount of credentials, it's not all of his credentials against everybody else's credentials. It's, I was never defeated. What happened to you? What, where are the ups and downs in your career? when Floyd just did this. So it's hard to com compare this to this, right? If you're looking at stocks, you know, we, we, what are we looking at? They both can be phenomenal, both can be tremendous stocks. People could have got paid on both sides, but they're still different in, in, in how they grew and, and reached to the level that they did, especially if it's gonna be at the end of their career. So I think you can call Pacquiao at that stage the most accomplished fighter in the history of the sport of boxing, coming from all his divisions. Uh, but can you really put him above Floyd because of that? In that category, yes. Otherwise, no. And I think that's how the conversation will forever go. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars and title betting shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.